This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a review of this Banggood.com lock snapping gun. Now, this is going to be a little bit different from my previous product reviews because in each of those videos, I had experience not only with the product being reviewed, but also with a number of comparables out there on the market. And that's not the case this time. This is the first time I am using a lock snapping gun. So in many respects, you're getting the views of a complete novice, but I think it'll be helpful because I'm going to talk about my learning curve in getting this pick gun to work and my impressions of its effectiveness in the hands of obviously someone who doesn't have a lot of experience with these sorts of guns. So first thing we're gonna talk about is price and what you get for that, and then we will go into my impressions of the product in general and my learning curve. And then finally, we are going to try to open up the assortment of locks that you see in front of you. So first thing is the price. And as always, I think it's important to review any product in the context of how much you have to pay for it. If you follow the link in the description below, you will find this product over at banggood.com for $16.90. I think that's important to note because a lot of the comparable products out there, at least the brand name ones, usually start around $50 and go up from there. So clearly this is a lot less expensive than the brand name comparables. And you'll also note in the description below, I have a discount code there that if you use, I'm sorry, if you buy this product before January 24th and use that code, you will get another 20% off. So what do you get for that money? Well, obviously you get the pick gun itself. There's actually two versions of this on the banggood.com website. This is the one that snaps upward. And that's generally most useful if locks are mounted as they generally are in the United States with the pins pointing down. The, this particular gun will snap up into those pins, making it most comfortable to use in that mounting scenario. If, however, you're in Europe where locks are often mounted with the pins facing up, you may want to consider the version of this gun that snaps down into those pins. I do not currently have a discount code for the snap down version. However, I will shoot an email over to banggood.com and see if I can get one for you. If I am successful in doing that, I will add it to the description below. <clears throat> So, as far as impressions on the tool itself, it's certainly made out of relatively thick steel, not at all flimsy. There is one thing I noted, and that is on the banggood.com website, there are a number of markings stamped into the body of the pick gun. And most of them I don't care about the brand name and, and model number. But what I would have liked to have seen was some indication of which way to turn this little knob to increase or decrease the impact force. You'll be able to figure that out easily enough, but still it would have been nice if it was on there. You also get three blades for the pick gun, one straight and two angled blades. And I have to say they're a little bit on the flimsy side. They're only about 20 thousandths of an inch thick and maybe 50 to 55 thousandths wide. So you're not gonna be able to get a lot of strength out of these no matter what they're made of. However, in the course of my review, I snapped, I'll say somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 locks with varying degrees of success. So let's average about five to 10 snaps per lock, at least a thousand snaps out of this gun since I opened the box. And I've probably bent this I don't know, certainly dozens of times and bent it back. Now, part of the problem there is that I was using this wrong when I first got it, and I'll explain that in just a moment. However, I would have liked to have seen slightly stronger blades. It's not a big issue because these are standard items. You can buy more of them. You can buy brand name ones. You can buy more just like this uh, separately on banggood.com. So it should be viewed as a, I say a consumable item. You will go through a lot of them. They're, it's a very thin piece of metal. You're impacting it repeatedly. 
they're going to bend, they're going to break. So in addition to the, all of that, we also get one tension wrench. As you probably know, if you're already watching this video, to access a wide variety of keyways, you're also gonna need a wide variety of tension wrenches. So while it is nice that they included this one in the box, you're probably going to need others to access the full potential of this pick gun. So does the pick gun work? That's really what it all comes down to. And I have to say it does work relatively well. There are some locks that you're not going to be able to open with it, and that includes most locks that have security pins. <coughs> if I did come across a few with security pins I was able to open with this, but as a general matter, if you have serrated or spooled driver pins, you're not going to be terribly successful with this gun. At least I was not very successful. I also wasn't successful with locks that had very extreme bidding. I had spotted success there, but the more extreme the bidding, the less likely I was to get into the lock. And then finally, the tighter the keyway, the harder this is to use. If you look at the way this gun works, you'll notice that the tip has some travel to it and it snaps up and down. And if you don't have enough room in the keyway for a little bit of travel with this tip, you're not going to be able to use the tool terribly effectively. So rather than me talk a lot about the types of locks I was able to open, I have a little assortment right in front of you of locks that I have at least some success opening in the past. And we will go through each of them, try to open them up. And you will see that it's the pick gun is not something magic. It's something that you have to practice at, like anything else in lock picking. But once you do get to, to know how to use it, you will have some success with it. And in some cases, it will open up locks very, very quickly. Now, let's talk about what I was doing wrong in the very beginning, something that you should avoid. If you notice, when we pull this trigger, we get about a half inch of travel in this, in the tip there. And I was not conscious of monitoring the amount of travel we got there. So when I was sticking it into locks in the very beginning and snapping this, I allowed large amounts of travel and clearly more than, than was required to open a lock. And what was ending up happening is I was just applying way too much force to that really, really thin blade. And it was resulting in a lot of bending. Ideally, what you should do is when you stick this in the lock is to allow about an eighth of an inch of travel at the very tip. At least that's what I found worked best for me. And when you do that, you will get a nice clean impact on the pins. You'll bend these a little bit less and you will open more locks. So let's try to do that right now. We'll try to open some of these locks up and, uh, and see what happens. You'll see some will open quickly, some may not open at all, depending on how, how lucky we are right now. Let's start with a, uh, with a quick set here. Get a, uh, let's see what sort of tension wrench. Use a little tension wrench in the bottom there. And what I'm going to do is place the tip of this in, pull the trigger about halfway and get it so we have about that eighth inch of travel there and then do a few little snaps and hopefully we'll be able to get this open. Okay, nothing so far. There we go, got it open. As you can see, it does take a few tries. Not sure what this is, another generic brand, no, uh, no brand name on it, and certainly no security pins in there. Oh, there we go, got this one open. Here we got another quick set here. <clears throat> Okay, we've got our master lock number three. Get a slightly larger tension wrench for this one. Oh, 
one snap, open that guy up, not bad. This is a battalion stainless steel lock. Let's see, We've got this tension wrench. Lost my tension and not having a whole lot of success right now. There we go. Got this guy open. Now we have a thick U-bolt padlock. It's a generic, a generic one. Relatively nice construction other than the core, which is frankly a real piece of garbage, but we're gonna try to open this guy up as well. Uh-oh. Sorry, bump the camera there. There we go. Open that guy up pretty quickly. And the final lock I have here is a Vink House. And I had limited success opening this guy up. So let's see if we're going to get lucky this time. Nothing so far, let's reset this guy. You can see I'm already having a little bit of bend in the tip there. Let me bend it back so I can get a little cleaner of a strike. There we go, got our Vink House open. So, as you can see, it really is I don't know. It's hit and miss with a lot of locks. You'd never know how a particular lock is going to react to the gun. However, it is very, very effective for a pretty large range of locks. So it may be something that you will, you'll want to try. Certainly with things like quick sets or the, uh, the generic locks with no security pins, works very well. I had a lot of success on master locks, a lot of success on the Chinese padlocks without any security pins, very limited success on locks with security pins like this Vink House, which is full of spools. Not sure what about this particular lock that made it so susceptible to snapping. Probably bad bidding, but I don't have a key for this. But all in all, this does work. Uh, I don't know how it compares to comparable products, but I can't imagine the others being a whole lot better. In any case, that's all I have for you on this Banggood.com lock snapping gun. If you are interested in picking one up, again, there is a link in the description below where you can get it for $16.90. And if you're looking at this before January 24th, that discount code in the description will give you another 20% off. That's all I have for you today. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.